I don't know where you are. <laughs> where are you? Hey, I'm here in Spokane, Washington with Craig Geis. Not to be confused with Craig Goose right. at Spokane First Assembly. Craig, right. thanks for having me over today. It's my pleasure. It was cool. I kind of got a tour and see all your guys' facilities. We're upstairs in your elementary room. What do you guys call the upstairs part here? Kid the City Heights. Kid City Heights. Not to be confused with downstairs, which is... Kid City. Kid City. So it was really cool. Craig, you guys have done a great job kind of putting your rooms together and caring your environments from one thing to another. But I have a question for you that has nothing to do with the environment in here particularly. Okay. Um, I want to know, because I know that you guys put a big emphasis on like family ministry mm -hmm. and involving parents in your children's ministries. So I was just going to ask you, you know, what, what is it that drives that in your beliefs and values and kind of what does that look like as you flesh it out in your church? Okay. So it comes from Deuteronomy chapter 6 and it deals with the four times that parents are instructed to talk to their kids about the things of God. And that's when they raise up in the morning, when they go along the road, when they're sitting down at any time, mealtime's a great one. And also when they're about to head to bed. And the way I put that together, if you get all the right initials, it says rest. And so I always tell the parents, bring your kids to church. We'll teach them about Christ. You come along for the ride. Help us teach your kids and other kids about Christ and the rest is up to you. <laughs> so yeah, uh, the best way to train people that don't know how to do stuff is to come alongside. Yeah. And come alongside those people that are already working in children's ministry and get to see what people do that have those skills, those teacher skills that they could take that subject. And like we had talked about earlier, give me a paper clip in 90 minutes and we're going to see this thing happen. Yeah. So for those folks that, that feel like, I don't know how to be a teacher or I, I don't know what to say, we'll give you the materials, we'll resource you. And this is part of what you're doing with us. Help to resource and train when we need training and uh, get materials into their hands to, to preview even the next week's lesson, but also review what is talked about. So, so parents, are they welcome to come and sit and observe? Or do you, I mean, what are some ways that you encourage them to be a part of what the kids are learning? Oh, parents are always welcome to come observe. Sometimes, especially new parents will come in, bring their kids in, have a seat and, and check everything out. Um, but we also have rotations of parents that will come through, sit through the program. And when we have enough, we're able to do small groups, which is really nice. Um, we also, for the younger kids, we have take-home pages that has a preview page for the following week. Okay. And review of this week. Right. The hope is mom and dad could be the one that will expose their child to that verse first. And then when they bring their child to church, number one, there's going to be a success because that child knows what's going on. Right. And number two, the parents become rock stars to their kids because... When their kids come home after being with us, we just just reinforced what mom and dad talked about. Right. So you really, I mean, the desire it sounds like is to kind of set those parents up as the main pillar, you know, the kids are counting on to kind of grow spiritually. That's it. That's it. Um, what are, um, how do you encourage like a, pa you know, maybe a parent comes in and they're, you know, they have their own issues they're working with, or maybe they're, uh, you know, new to the church or to mm -hmm. the faith. And so they're kind of processing their own stuff. What are some ways that you kind of would encourage them to get involved? Like if I'm a new parent, what would you say to me if I'm like, hey, I don't know about the church mm -hmm. stuff, but it's, you know, my kid's loving it, so I'm still bringing them. What, what sort of things would you say? I think if they get a chance to see what it's like through their child's eyes, I think it, they'll catch a new vision for it possibly. But I think too, the way we do this system, uh, they will be in a room with somebody else. And so maybe they won't have to be the lead, they can assist. Right. And so it's that feeling of, oh, I, was, I will come alongside and help. I don't have to be the one up front. We have people that are up front that will teach it. Right. They could just reinforce and say, now what did the teacher say again? Yeah. What was that verse again? And it's easy to ask questions. Yeah, yeah. That's cool, yeah. cool. Craig, thanks for sharing those thoughts. My pleasure. Is there a place where people can kind of check out more about your church here in Spokane? Yeah, go to spokanefirst.org. That's S-P-O-K-A-N-E-F-I-R-S-T.org. And how about you? Is there a place where they can figure out where you're at online? Yep, Craig at spokanefirst.org. <laughs> Perfect. Cool. Thanks, Craig. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you.